Hey, what's up guys, Josh here. I keep getting these requests as far as how to make this crazy, awesome zoom um, transition and roll transition that you keep seeing um, on Instagram. All these big Instagrammers are doing these cool After Effects transitions. I'm gonna actually show you how I would do it. This is my first time actually being able to make a tutorial. I'm getting all these requests, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So check this out. Um, I have my three clips that I'm gonna transition in between. One, two, three in Premiere. You right click these three clips. You go to Place with After Effects Composition, click on that. I already actually have everything done in After Effects. I have these three clips, one, two, three, that I'm going to transition in between. I want to let you guys know the project file and the raw files are actually going to be on LuxuryLeaks.com for you to download. If you go to my Instagram, Olu, made by Olufemi, you can actually get a promo code to get all this for free. So check this out. So if we go in between the first two clips that we are trans transitioning in between this one and this one, Let's open this up real quick and I'll show you just how easy it is. As you can see, I literally, actually let's play through it so you can see what the transitions look like. We've got a zoom in transition and then this next transition between the other clip is that like a, almost a roll or ro rotation transition. As you can see for this first transition right here, all I did was I keyframed the position and the scale for the top one and the position and the scale for the bottom one. So check this out, we're gonna zoom in and I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. Literally what I did was I zoomed in to the corner for, for the first clip and then I zoomed out from the corner of the next clip. And then of course I had motion blur on. Make sure you enable motion blur for all the layers and then enable it for each individual layer as well. Um, and that just makes the transition really, really smooth. So I just zoomed in and then I zoomed out. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you zoom, you zoom in to a corner um, that has a similar look to the corner that you're zooming out from. So as you can see, the floor looks like, you know, dark concrete and the floor looks like, you know, dark concrete over here. So the transition is very, very smooth, it goes in and out from similar looking ground. So check this out. So um, another thing that I did was I made sure that I eased in, easy eased in for this clip when I was going in and then I easy eased out when I was uh, zooming out. So what you can do is right click and then do keyframe assistant, go easy ease in, and then right here, you right click here, and then you do easy ease out. And what that'll do is it'll just um, make the transition a lot more organic looking. It's gonna speed, it's gonna start slow, speed up, and then it's gonna start fast and then slow down when it speeds out. So, and I just left these inner keyframes the same. Pretty easy guys, nothing much to it. Once again, if there's anything confusing, just download the project file and you can see exactly what I did. It's crazy, crazy simple. Check this out, we're gonna check out this other transition right here. If you see these two, I'm gonna actually expand just the bottom of the top one. These are the two clips that I'm transitioning in between. This is my rotation transition. What I did was, all I did was I keyframed the rotation and the opacity for the top clip, and then I just keyframed the rotation for the bottom clip. I'm gonna actually blind the bottom clip, and I'm gonna show you what I did for the top clip. So you can't see the bottom clip right now. You can only see the top clip of this uh, ball right here, something I filmed in Brisbane, Australia. So what I did was, as you can see, the rotation of the clip, the cl clip is rotating around. And then as you can see, the opacity is going from 100% to zero as I rotate around. So it's basically rotating and disappearing. And then I'm going to show you what I did for this one right here. I'm gonna blind the top clip and show you the bottom clip. This bottom clip is actually rotating from the other direction. And the opacity just stays consistent at 100%. So if I allow both clips to be seen, the transition is a very neat, change from one clip to another clip because as this rotates out and disappears you can start seeing the clip underneath it rotating from the other direction and appearing and we're going to watch it one more time there we go right here um, and you got to remember to easy ease so what i did for this one is i easy eased the rotation for both of these clips i didn't ease in or ease out I easy eased which actually does both easy ease right there did it for that one as well um, so one last thing to remember guys is you're going to need to actually add a tile effect to I add it to all these clips just to be safe what you do is you go into um, effects and presets and you type in motion tile 
then you can bring this onto all your clips. Um, as you can see, the effect is on this clip. And what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you what it does real quick. Okay, let's see. Let's uh, zoom out. And I'm gonna actually just use scale. I'm gonna scale out. So as you can see, let's fit. I actually put my motion tile effect on and then I put the output width to 200 and the output, output height to 200. So there's gonna be double the, uh, the amount of uh, tiles outward. Um, and what this does is it allows you to say when you're rotating, you see a little bit of, say, the edges. Um, because when you rotate a square, you're going to see some um, the edges where the image cuts off. If you add tiles, that hides the edges because you have another um, piece of footage that's up against the original footage. And so you can do cool rotations without seeing any disgusting black edges. Um, if you guys are thinking ahead, you can think of uh, some other uh, transitions that are really, really going to need those tiles. Like say, I saw some transitions in Instagram where um, the literally the footage stayed still and then it moved up in this direction and another footage came and took its place. Um, that's obviously something where you can, you're going to need the tile tool because when you are transitioning in between both images, you're gonna need some tiles to fill in the black spaces in between when you're moving from one image to another. Um, we may deal with those uh, types of transitions in another video. But guys, that's it. Just wanted to give you guys a little taste of this cool effect that has been all over the place as far as these celeb Instagrams. And I hope you guys check it out and use it yourself. Thanks so much.